Paint splatters on screen revealing a series of images, a woman playing violin, then in a bright pink costume, then in a blind skier penny atop a mountain. The paint drip splatters revealing text in print and braille. Unsightly Opinions. Hi, welcome to Unsightly Opinions. My name's Tamara. Today, I want to share with you a really cool blind life hack that Robbie and I discovered together a few weeks ago. If you're a technophile like me and you like finding technical solutions to problems, this is your video. Using NFC stickers, we have found a way to inexpensively and accessibly label just about anything you can imagine. It's really cool and I'm so excited to share this with you because I have not seen anything else like this. So I want to share a little bit about what NFC tags are, what they do, some applications, and most importantly, show you how I use them to accessibly label things using some $25 stickers and your smartphone. Let's dive in. NFC stands for Near Field Communication. It's a subset of Radio Frequency Identification Tags, or RFID. NFC is a way of wirelessly communicating information and is a way of writing, reading, and transferring data without a power source. While many RFID readers have batteries that die over time, NFC tags have a distinct advantage in that they don't have their own power source. They draw power out of the reader. So in this case, it would be your smartphone. That way, these can be read and written hundreds of thousands of times before they degrade. And I suspect the sticker is probably going to wear out long before that. Most smartphones these days have RFID or NFC readers built into them. If you can do something like Apple Pay or Google Pay, your phone has an NFC reader and NFC writer built into it. NFC tags are getting really, really small. The ones I have here are little stickers that have processors that can hold pieces of information on them indefinitely. I just wanted to mention that mine are round and three quarters of an inch, but they come in all kinds of sizes, much larger and much smaller. You can read, write, and erase. So what that means is if you create an NFC sticker, you can use it over and over and over again and either keep the same information on it or create new information every time you need to rewrite it for something new. There are so many applications for NFC these days. They are used in all kinds of industrial and technical applications, but you may have seen them more recently in places like escape rooms. NFC tags can do a variety of different things. You can encrypt them or password protect them. You can make them readable by any device, you can make them open links, you can make them run programs. The limit to what NFC tags can do is only the amount of processing space on the sticker and your imagination. Robbie started using NFC tags about a year ago to help him focus on tasks like chores around the house. He created a program that would set off an alarm that he could not shut off until he scanned the NFC tag. So if you have trouble with procrastination or maybe you're a person with ADD, this might be a solution for you as well. But in terms of the blind app Application. That came about a few weeks ago when we started talking about how I wanted a pen friend. If you're not familiar with it, it is a device that Lucy Edwards talks about frequently on her channel, which you can record digital audio to an NFC tag. It's got a couple of buttons, and then you can program anything you want to onto each sticker and label everything accordingly. I told Robbie that I wanted to pick one up, but I was lamenting that they were very expensive. In Canada, I couldn't find one for under $150, and the stickers were sold separately for at least $25 a pack and you could only use them once. He suggested I should look into NFC tags, so I spent about $20 and I picked up a roll of 100 NFC stickers, and it turns out that they do the exact same thing as a pen friend, and I didn't need a pen friend, I just needed my smartphone and a free application. I have started using NFC tags to label all kinds of different things. Notably, I picked up a pack of magnets from the dollar store, stuck an NFC sticker on them, and then I can label all of my cans because they're magnetic. Now, rather than needing to rotate the can and guess at what each thing is and hope that my seeing AI picks it up, I just stick my smartphone to the top of the can where I have the magnet. When this can is done and I want to use this sticker for the next can that I bring into my house or the next series of cans, because I have a lot of cans in my cupboard, I can either erase this and rewrite it or if I'm buying the same can again, I can just swap this magnet over to the next can and it's already pre-labeled. It's been saving me a ton of time. I've also started using NFC tags to label my makeup because each palette has a unique shade range and different colors and I can't keep track of what each one is because I forget. I've been using NFC tags and I've been able to explore way more colors in my palette just because I now know what each pan is in order. 
I've also been experimenting with NFC tags as clothing labels. I've used them on my belts so I know which color my belts are. And I've started experimenting as using them as clothing tag identifiers, although the jury's out as to how long that lasts and how many wash cycles that's good for before it wears out. So far, it's lasted at least one wash cycle. So I'm confident to say that it'll probably last several more, especially if you can find a more permanent way to affix them to your tags. But you're probably curious as to how this all works. So let me give you a bit of a demonstration. I'm going to put the screen recording of what's shown on my phone on the right hand side of the screen. So if you have some vision, you should be able to follow along. But I also have my voiceover slowed down and turned up. So hopefully you can hear that as well. I'm going to go to a free application that I downloaded called Tag Manager from the App Store. And I'm going to open that up. Tag While there are many free NFC readers and NFC writers out there, I like this application because it's screen reader accessible and relatively straightforward. It doesn't have a lot of clear Butter or anything extra that I don't need for what I want it to do. NFC Tag Manager. Heading. At the top, it has the title. Recently read tags. Followed by all of the tags that I recently have created or read using it. Create tag. Button. Underneath that, you have the create tag button. Read tag. The read button. tag button. Clean tag. And the clean button. tag button. Create tag means you can input whatever information you want to onto your tag, and it's going to save that to your NFC sticker. Read tag means you probably already have information on the sticker, and it's going to read it back to you. Or clear tag means it's going to erase your tag. And that is all of the information that you need to be able to start reading and writing NFC stickers. I have a blank tag here affixed to a magnet, and I am going to label this can of red kidney beans with this NFC tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down tag. to Button. create tag, selected, and I have the option for text, URL, or Siri shortcuts. I'm just going to label this with some text. Tag name, op, content, text I'm going to double text tag, field. content, content, dictate, button, red kidney beans, inserted red kidney beans so it has created a tag called red kidney beans and now all i have to you do text field right to right to tag is slide my finger down until i find the button right to tag and i'm going to double tap that button at this point i am bringing the blank tag to the top center of my phone for it to write successfully right to tag but ready to success so it gives me a little haptic feedback and it will tell me once it's written to the tag. That took me about 10 seconds. It's now written to the tag and I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you that this tag has red kidney beans on it. So we're going to go back. Create tag. Read tag. Button. Read. Ready. Ready to scan. And all I have to do is put that close to the top of my phone. Success. It's read it. Red kidney beans. And that's it. It takes me about five seconds and my screen reader can read it out. Now that we know that this exists on this tag and we know that it has red kidney beans, I'm going to erase this tag and show you that we can erase it and rewrite it as many times as we need to. Clean tag. And I'm going to hit clean tag. Ready, ready to scan. And all I have to do is touch it to the top of my thing. It's going to give me some haptic feedback to let me know it was done. And then we're going to try and read this tag again. Ready, ready to scan. And -tag. It, it did nothing that time. So it's telling me that this tag is empty because it gave me a longer buzz. It didn't give me any warning or anything, but it didn't read anything out. Read and it dumped me back onto the main page. So let's rewrite read this tag. Read tag. Read tag. Create tag. Content. Text go to content. Text field. Let's say I was labeling a red lipstick. Dictate button red lipstick okay and now Character we're going to create mode. the tag right, right to tag, tag. but right, ready, ready to scan ready to touch scan. it to the top and it gives me a little double haptic tag feedback manager. to let me know it did that read tag i'm going to read but the tag ready, now ready, ready to, to scan. I just touch it to the top of my phone red lipstick and that is how i create my nfc tags I think this is so ridiculously cool that I can start labeling all kinds of things around my house in an accessible and independent way that even if I need help to know what something is one time, I have that information saved forever. And the amount of information you can save on one of these little tags is pretty phenomenal. If you want to start exploring NFC tags, I highly encourage it because spending about 20 bucks on 
stickers for 100 stickers is a small drop compared to the $150, $200 you'd be spending to buy a similar accessible product. I think this is fantastic and really accessible and I was so excited to share it with you. I've used three or four different NFC readers at this point and I've picked Tag Manager because it is simply the easiest to use. Most of the ones that I have tried out have been screen reader accessible, so if you can't find this exact one for your device, I will try and link ones that are accessible for Apple, Android, Samsung, Google, whatever you've got going on, and that way you can try this out for yourself and report back and let me know how it goes. This has made a huge difference in terms of the accessibility in my life, so I want you to go out there, try it out, let me know how it works for you and how easy you find it. Because compared to some of the things that I was doing before, which were way slower, this is a fast and easy way that I can get all of the text or visual information I need over and over and over again without any sighted assistance. I'm really curious to have more people try it out and tell me if you've already been doing this or if you know of anybody else that's already been doing this because I've never seen anyone else use NFC tags for accessibility like this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to create. I know it was a shorter one, but I think it's really important to start talking about accessibility and how to create accessibility around you and find creative solutions to problems. So if you have any ideas for accessible tech that you want to see on this channel, or if you'd like to see more tech reviews, or hear more about how I make technology part of my life, let me know in the comments down below. If you've made it this far, please consider supporting the channel. You can do so by liking, commenting, subscribing, engaging on here or on any of my other social media platforms, but that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.